Yeah, so uh, one of the things I want to talk about is, is what I ended my last comments with is when we lift from the bottom, we all rise. That's, that's something we really believe in in the Poor People's Campaign. We, we recognize that the solutions uh, to the problems of our society need to come from those most impacted. Um, and as we organize uh, here in Maine, we're, we're listening to the folks that, that are impacted by these systems of injustice. Um, up in the city of Bangor, we are uh, organizing with the Greater Bangor Housing Coalition, which is a, a number of groups coming together to uh, m improve conditions for those experiencing homelessness and advocating uh, directly with the city by lifting voices. Um, and one of another leaders, as, as Katie mentioned, we're a, a nationwide movement. Uh, one of the, the leaders from Arkansas, Reverend Dr. Annika Whitfield, says, uh, you know, people ask, why are we the poor people's campaign? Why can't you just be the people's campaign? And we say, well, we're not here to put a label on. We're here to take a label off. Because, because we know that uh, there are more folks that are poor than identify as poor because the poverty measure in this country is broken. Um, it, in Maine right now, there are 454,000 and growing poor and low income folks. That ain't right. That ain't, that ain't right. right. This, this COVID-19 pandemic has, has uh, laid bare the fraction of society. Um, and we see how uh, these divisions uh, break open uh, along historical lines of division. And we know as a campaign that uh, organizations have a role in a movement, but a movement needs to be more than an organization. That we believe in uh, uh, testimony and not titles. That, that lived experience is what uh, created the, more, the people's moral budget. Um, which is the organizing tool uh, that we've been working on for a number of years that came out of conversations across the country. And for me, I've been involved in a number of different uh, activist fields uh, from, from ecological devastation to labor rights. And, and I realized that, you know, I have cousins that went to work in the oil fields because they were the only good paying jobs. And these are, these are folks that um, love the outdoors and wouldn't want an oil spill where they hunt and where they fish. But as long as there are poor folks, there will be exploitative industries that will use that poverty to put them in dangerous situations that destroy our communities and destroy our environment. So we, we really believe that uh, We've got to organize wide, and we've got to organize deep, and, uh, and that, yeah, we continue to bring voices up that have been silenced. Um, so I'll pass it on to Mindy next. Thank you.